Today we are experimenting watercolor with salt. We shall need these materials. Firstly, we draw a line of the valley across the paper. Next, the head of the ship is basically an upside down triangle with rounded edges. I'm going to draw five ships with their heads pointing to different directions. Then we draw the bodies, which looks rounded and fluffy. For the background, I'm using wet on wet technique. Firstly, we have to activate the colors that we are going to use. By using a wet size 8 round brush, activate the color and add some water. The intensity of the color can later on be adjusted by adding more paint or more water. We have so far activated violet, ultramarine, yellow, and orange. Then we apply a layer of water on the paper. Make sure that there is not too much or too little water. As long as the paper looks glossy, there is already enough wetness. We can now loosely drop the paints on the water. I start with yellow, which we can see it bleeds through the wet area pretty quickly. The next color is orange. We can see how quickly the two colors blend together. Next, we add in violet and dark blue. The more dynamic the colors, the more impactful the effect of salt will be. While the paper is still wet, we sprinkle some salt on the paper. The salt will dissolve and create the snowflakes effect. This will take some time to transform. We just move on while waiting. Now we are preparing to paint the foreground. I activate some black color, then randomly paint some thick wavy lines with wet on dry. Moving on, we activate some light brown, dark brown, and black, getting ready to paint the bodies of the ships by using the wet on wet technique. We wet the body of the first ship. Drop some brown paint, leaving out some area to give a better form and shape for the body. To prevent the wet paint from seeping through the second ship, I skip it to paint the third ship in the middle. Wet the body, then drop some mixtures of brown and black. After this, skip another ship and repeat the same method until we paint the bodies of all the ships. We then paint the faces with wet on dry. Again, I leave some area unpainted. For the ears, I use a darker and more solid shade of black paint. After that, the legs. 
fatter on the top, then become leaner, moving downwards. We complete the shapes by adding simple facial features to them. Triangle nose and two dots for the eyes. Lastly, spiral horns just to add some cuteness. I decided to add some dry grass on the snow ground. By flicking the brush upwards, we painted some dry bushes. By using some black and brown shades, we then add some dark value to the grass. Next, I'm going to use the edge of the brush to add some texture on the snow ground. With some remaining paint on the brush, we create the shadows of the sheep and the grass. With some clean white paint, we are going to add some splatter on the painting. Look, it is snowing. Finally, we just have to patiently wait for the painting to get dry before scraping off the salt from the paper. We are all done. I hope you have enjoyed the process of this painting. See you next time.